Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be working on our content view. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring back our environment for manage object context. Okay. There we go. That was. And uh, we're going to create our fetch request. Okay. And this fetch request is going to have sort descriptors. Uh, and this sort descriptor is basically going to let us define if we want to sort our item uh, to some descriptor. So. We're gonna create just one NS sort descriptor for key path and ascending. So we're gonna say the key path is gonna be to do dot created. Ascending is gonna be true. Okay. All right, and we're gonna say animation is gonna be default, and we have all right. So let's see where did we what did we miss here? Um, okay, so special request. Okay, so and a sort descriptors or descriptor key path to do dot created ascending. Here we go. Alright, so let me go ahead and All right, so I don't understand why okay yeah right so it's too soon like you know it's basically complaining about all these things there you go we need to create um so usually it's in the same line private var to do's right fetched fetched results fetched results to do there we go now it's gonna be happy yeah sometimes it's like starts complaining way too early okay um, we're gonna create a state or recording and an observed object for our mic for the visualization so mic monitor number of samples we're gonna keep 30 speech manager we're gonna need so initialize speech manager all right so those are all the variables that we're gonna need now we're gonna create a navigation view inside this navigation view we're gonna have a z stack with alignment as bottom trailing because we're gonna put our microphone there okay and uh, here inside that we're gonna have a list this list is gonna have a for each on to do's for each item in we want to show a text item dot text otherwise or just like that okay uh, if it's empty okay and uh, we want to create uh, on delete so basically just say on delete and perform basically we need delete items function so let's go ahead and 
create that uh, delete items function We're gonna create this, delete this with animation, and we're gonna simply say offset start map. So we're gonna map to do's dollar zero dot dot for each, and we're gonna say view context dot delete. Okay, and um, after that, we're gonna call do try context view context dot save and catch print error if there's any error. Okay, all right, so that's our delete function, and um, then we're gonna go basically get our navigation title in place speech to do list okay right underneath we're gonna have a rounded rectangle created with corner radius of 25 points fill is gonna be color dot primary dot Opacity 0 0.5 maybe with padding overlay is gonna be basically a V stack. This V stack is going to have a visualization viewer. So visualization viewer we're gonna call. Our visualizer view okay let's go ahead and create this visualizer view which is going to basically um which is going to be used for our visualization okay so it's going to be a function here so private func visualization view if to turn some view okay and uh, this actually needs some normalized um uh, samples uh, that is going to create the visualization uh, bars, right? So we're going to create a private function for that normalized sound level. And this is going to return a CG float. We're going to get the max between 0 0.2 and CG float value of level plus a constant 50. We're gonna divide that by, by two and return CG float level times 100 by 25. Okay, now we're gonna use this inside our visualization visualizer view and we're gonna simply say a v stack we're gonna return that v stack is gonna have an h stack with spacing of four points and for each we're gonna simply access the mic dot sound samples id them by self and we're gonna get sound samples for each level uh, i mean sound samples for each um uh sound um level and we're gonna simply say um visual bar view and here we're gonna give it the value self dot normalize sound level and level okay so this is basically gonna create our visualization or visualizer view.
okay and after that we're gonna set the opacity for this guy so this rounded rectangle is only going to show up when the recording is on okay underneath uh, we're going to create a v stack and uh, record button okay this is going to be another view uh, that we can extract out from our main body so we can actually write that function here so private func record button it's just gonna return some view like so and uh, this button is going to have an action and uh, I'm gonna add this action okay and uh, for now let me do this okay and we're gonna have an image system name and we're gonna check if recording is going on we're gonna say stop dot fill for the image otherwise we're gonna say mic dot fill I'm gonna set the font for this system size of 40 padding corner radius about 10 points and we're gonna give the foreground color of red for the whole thing okay um let's go ahead and create that add item so let's go ahead and create it here private funk add item and we're gonna say if speech manager dot is recording self dot recording is equal to false mic dot stop monitoring and speech manager dot stop stop monitoring stop recording recording okay um in the else condition uh we want to actually start our recording okay and uh so we're gonna say self dot start or self dot recording is equal to true mic dot start monitoring and speech manager dot start okay and uh, this start takes uh, or basically it gives us a closure with recognized text uh, that we're gonna basically use so we're gonna say guard let text is equal to speech text speech text right and uh, we want to make sure that text is not empty so text dot is empty if it's not then only proceed otherwise self dot recording is equal to false and return okay um all right so if we proceed um then we want to actually call uh dispatch queue so dispatch queue and basically save this uh recognized speech into um into the core data or into the database okay so with animation We are simply going to first create a new item um, in the core data context. And so we're going to say let new item to do. Context is going to be view context. Okay. And new item dot ID is equal to UUID. New item dot text is equal to recognize text. New item dot created is equal to the date current date there we go okay and then we simply say do try view context view context dot save catch and simply print error like so okay um all right and at the end basically 
we definitely want to toggle the speech managers is recording. All right. So that is our record button. Okay. So this is our V stack and this guy right here is our Z stack. Uh, so here we're going to say on appear. We are simply going to say speech manager dot check permissions. All right. So let's go ahead and build, make sure everything is good. Okay, so everything is looking good. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, see if uh, everything works. All right, so. And I'll give it a minute to, or not a minute so much, a few seconds to basically launch. There we go. This is the uh, permission dialog that you get uh, to access the microphone. We say yes. And this is the speech recognition. Basically, uh, it says like, you know, that uh, this app is going to send the data to Apple to process your requests and stuff like that for speech recognition. We say okay for that too. And we are here. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we tap this button and reason it's not working because we did not call our add item here. There we go. Let's go ahead and rerun. And um, now we're gonna once again try to um, try to record. So we're gonna try to record and see. Uh, there is some problem in the visualization, so we're gonna see what's going on. But let's stop. Okay. All right. So speech recognition and everything is working correct. Now let's go ahead and take a look what's going on at our speech visualization view. So I'm gonna come back here and I believe it's basically this guy right here. Let's take a look. Um, so it's the width that's causing the problem because um, width was too much, it was not getting computed. So I think the division or the subtraction, one of these operations is taking over so let's go ahead and try that again okay so we're gonna try it again there we go that actually fixed it and now i do see a problem with the background color so let's go ahead and fix that okay so um uh, there was some okay right here our let me go ahead and instead of primary, actually, I'm gonna set this to sort of like a um, black and 0.7. Okay. All right, let's try this. And um, we're gonna try to record one more time. This is much better. Yeah, we can see our visualization properly. If you stop saying anything, that's good. There we go. All right, so let's check out our delete functionality. Delete is working fine. Let's stop and start and make sure everything persists as promised. And it does. All right, so with this, how we reached the end of this video series where you saw how to build, how to basically build uh, a speech recognition app and uh, basically recognize your speech, convert it into text and put it into a to-do list. So hopefully you found uh, this video series helpful. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you guys in another video series. Thank you.